כנס, כנס. אחד איתי. But you're not denying, obviously, that that innocent lives were also lost as a result of that. I, I assume, happened. I assume, yes, and I regret it, and I, I, it's a tragedy, but. We cannot, I mean, if we don't put the blame on Hamas, we are helping and advancing their strategy because otherwise other terrorists are going to use the same strategy in many other countries. If you can abduct uh, innocent civilians and then hold them in uh, civilians' apartments and think that you have immunity, it's not going to work. We will never defeat terrorism. Let's talk about what happened at the United Nations today because you just mentioned in that Security Council, the resolution that passed, it is the first time we've seen something like this pass since October 7th happened, in the eight months since the war happened. You were present for the vote today, but you didn't address the Security Council. Why not? Well, I, I thought that uh, we don't want now to emphasize any differences. I know when sometimes when I speak, people are listening to me and they're listening to what they want to listen to. So we prefer to lower the tone today. Uh, as I said, we accept President Biden. First of all, we respect him and we are grateful to all of his efforts and his administration efforts. We accept and we accepted the, uh, the outline of the deal. But I have to admit, we had our concerns about the way it will be interpreted by Hamas. That's why we, we held an intimate dialogue with our American counterparts. Once our security concerns uh, were addressed, so we accepted uh, the deal. You